Once the field file editing has been closed down, we're now going to look at some graphical edits. Firstly, we're going to finish up the survey reduction toolbar. Then we're going to add some other toolbars that are useful for our editing. We're going to bring up CAD Delete, CAD String and CAD Vertex. We click Finish and we're going to move these toolbars firstly down into the graphics and then we're going to slowly place them up into the top section and we'll put the CAD delete at the end. If the uh, delete is just off the end we might just bring it up slightly there. Okay so we have the CAD vertex toolbar, CAD string and CAD delete. The normal sort of graphical edits are the fairly obvious sorts of edits, things such as joining up gaps in strings. To join up gaps in strings, generally you use one of two options, either string join or string append, and we'll go through some examples of those. Prior to doing this, we might just go over to this string here. We'll close this string. For the graphical edits, just go to your toggle button and turn off text for the moment. To close a string, we go to the CAD string toolbar and we use the icon close and we left click, middle click on the string. To join up strings, we use the CAD string toolbar again and we use the option join. When you're joining two strings, it's important to note that the second string will be given the properties of the first string so it's very important not to join up strings with different properties or if the first string has attributes different to the second string. In things such as top of banks, bottom of banks, generally it's fairly safe to do this. To join up a string what we do is we use a concept called picking with direction and we hold the left button down on the first string and keeping the left button held down we drag towards the gap release the left button and you'll see it's highlighted and then click middle button. We then go to the next string and we do the same thing but we're doing it in the direction away from the gap this time hold the left button down drag a few millimeters along release and accept. It's now created one complete string in this case it's actually flipped the line type over but that's just a simply a matter of clicking on the reverse icon in the CAD string toolbar and picking and accepting on the string. The benefits of this option is that you create one complete string and you don't have to preset the parameters for the strings. So we're just going to continue through joining these gaps Now, the next string after the fence line has actually got two different string types or two different properties. This one is a top of bank and this one is a bottom of bank. So we don't want to join the top to the bottom, creating one complete top. So we use the append option in the CAD vertex toolbar. And what we do is we pick at the end of one of the strings and accept and then we pick on the end of the other string and accept. If you then press escape once you'll see now that this string here stops at that point there. So they're two completely separate strings. That, al that is another alternative to joining strings. However, wherever possible it's good to keep um, one big string running. So we'll go back to the joins and just continue with these other strings. With this string here if we tried to join from there to there, it would actually do this sort of thing. So we would just go Edit Undo and we use the Append option. So the Append option is not only for joining strings with different properties, but it's also good for joining from the end of one string to just another position. Press Escape once and it stays inside the option pick that string and pick that point. Again press escape and that should be all the strings that we have to join. There are some other useful features uh, in the graphical edits. On this side of the road you 
seen that we've already got an arc that's been created from the survey reduction. On this side there isn't an arc. If you wanted to place an arc in there, you just go to the toolbar over on the left that says CAD segment and go to insert three point curve. We pick on the middle point and accept and you'll see it's created an arc that passes through those three points.